I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you're ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. This week is all about inner beauty. That's right, we're stripping down and finding out what makes us beautiful on the inside. And it's all next on Andrew Talks. So the question arises, how do you know you're cute? How do you know that you're special? How do you know that you're beautiful? Huh? 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 I'm sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming. I'm Drew St. Thomas for Coast to Coast News, Channel 26, our top story. Caffeine can be addictive, can it? But not as addicting as perhaps pharmaceutical drugs? That's right, at a local Starbucks in Orange County, a doctor was selling pharmaceutical drugs in the evenings to anyone who was interested. Most of his clients, well technically a third of his clients, were under the age of 25. Unfortunately, this story has a sad ending. One person died due to an overdose. Luckily for everyone else involved, the doctor was arrested It is on a $500,000 bond. He even sold some of the drugs at a Toyota dealership while buying a car. This is one crazy doctor. I would say Dr. Hyde. <laughs> Our next story. Who doesn't love a hot pizza? How about a hot cheesy pizza? Well, how about just a hot, fiery pizza? No, not for you. Well, for one Florida Domino's, that's what they had in mind. A hot, fiery pizza as they burned down their competition, Papa John's, in order to receive a bonus from their manager. Apparently, sources say that the Domino's workers were sick of seeing Papa John's trucks go by, and they decided to do something about it. Both will be in jail before we know it, probably in 30 minutes or less. From hot pizzas to a hot relationship, let's go over to Andy Tomas to give us more of that story. Andy? Thank you, Drew. I'm Andy Tomas. You know the old saying, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Or perhaps you know the saying, try, try, and try again. Well, that all could be said for a Florida woman who nearly killed her husband for the second time in four months. Why, you ask? Is it because he didn't take out the trash? No. Is it because he forgot to do the dishes? No, it's because she wanted his life insurance money. And, let, and as you can see here, we're going to pan over. I'm right in front of the bedroom in which the man was nearly burned to death. First, he was drugged, then nearly burned. She set the room on fire to kill him. Unfortunately, or fortunately for him, unfortunately for her, her, her plan was foiled and the husband lived. This is after, just four months earlier, she tried to shoot him in the garage. It's a sad, sad turn of events for everyone here in Florida. Uh, luckily for the husband, he survived, as I said, both counts of attempted murder. The wife was acquitted of the first attempt, but was caught the second time and will soon be going to jail. A, a jail date is set for December 5th. Let's take a look. As you can see, unfortunately, Drew, we cannot go inside the room due to evidence. It's been cautioned off. Um, uh, Mike, please get a shot of the, the room. As much as we can show you, Drew, unfortunately, like I said, the woman is in jail or is awaiting to go to jail, and the husband is safe and secure. I am Andy Tomas. Andy Tomas for Coast to Coast News Channel 26. Back to you, Drew, in the studio. Andy, thank you for that steamy relationship news. Now we're going to move on to talk to some animals. No, really. Let's talk to some animals. Let's uh, also speak with our correspondent, Tom Andrews. Tom, where are you? What are you doing? And what is it all about? Over to you, Tom. Thank you, Drew. I'm Tom Andrews here in the Florida Everglades looking for snakes. That's right. You heard me. I'm looking for pythons. I haven't seen any yet. I don't know if you've heard. Recently in the Florida Everglades here, a python consumed a deer. A 46-pound deer was consumed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry, sorry, it was an earthworm. Okay, as I was saying, excuse me, a uh, python consumed a 46 pound female deer. Just think of Bambi's mother be eating, eaten by Kaw from the Jungle Book. And uh, that is what happened. As you can see here, uh, let me give you some footage. If we could turn around and show you the marshlands that we're walking through. As you can see here, these are the marshlands that we're walking through. This is a deer path. And unfortunately, due to uh, pet owners getting rid of their pythons because they get too large, 
and due to Hurricane Andrew going through an enclosure for snakes, pythons are running rampant here in the Everglades. So Drew, like I was saying, it is very, very swampy and marshy out here. Uh, we haven't seen any wildlife as of yet, but um, we are preparing ourselves for anything that might occur along our path. It is very, very dangerous. We don't suggest that you go out. Our guide is in front of us, ensuring our way. Uh, just please, uh, again, to the viewing public, make sure you do not come out here in the Everglades unprotected. It is very, very dangerous. Very, very... Holy Moses, what is that? Oh. Every, everything is okay. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Um, we're going to go back to you in the studio um, as we uh, try to figure out the kinks here. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, over, back over to you, Drew. Well, that about do will do it for us here at Coast to Coast News Channel 26. Again, we're sorry for interrupting your local programming. It will be back with you shortly. And don't forget, for the top to the minute news anytime, you can go to Coast to Coast News Channel 26 Facebook page at... Well, it will be up soon. Okay, for everyone here at Coast to Coast News Channel 26, I'm Drew St. Thomas. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. All right, my friends, that'll about do it for our shout-outs and real talk. And unfortunately, it's already time to go. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We were just working on our inner beauty and everything. Oh, goodness. Well, you keep working on your inner beauty, and you make sure to make it great, okay? So go out. Have a great morning. Have a great evening. Have a great lunch. Just make it great. I am Andrew for Andrew Talks, and I will see you next week. Bye, everybody.